So let's now compute my BMI. How to compute the BMI? The BMI is the body mass index, which somehow tells you your general health. Okay? So from our measurement earlier, we've learned, we've measured that my mass is 90 kilogram, and I know my height. My height is 510. So we should write it like this, five in uh, five foot uh, ten or five feet ten inches. So BMI is actually uh, in, in units of kilogram per meter squared. Okay. So the formula for BMI, BMI is equal to the mass per unit height squared. So you should we should know our our mass and our height. And this is the unit for BMI is in units of kilogram over meter squared. But take note here I have kilogram no problem, but for for the height I have five foot five feet ten inches. So you need to you need to convert this into centimeter or to meter. So this is five foot or five feet and then ten inches. Okay? But what is five foot? What is five foot in inches? My height is equal to five foot is actually twelve inches, right? One foot twelve inches. So okay, so now I can have this. And then you have, you have to add that 10 inches. Okay? So 5 times 12, that's 60 plus 10. So my height is equal to 70 inches. But we need centimeter for the BMI and then to meter. So you, need, you still need to convert this in centimeter. So my height is equal to 70 inches. We know that in 1 inch, oops, In one inch, there are 2.54 centimeter. And in one centi oh, in one meter, there are about yeah, 100 centimeter. So from here, you can cancel out the inches and you can cancel out the centimeters. You are left with meter. So the height is equal to multiply 70 times 2.54. Um, Use your calculator, guys, to verify my calculation. I could be wrong, so better to verify. So you should get an answer of 1.8 meter, right? Or something like that. Okay, so now we know the mass and the height. We can now compute for the body mass index. So the BMI now is equal to it. The formula is mass per unit height squared my mass is 90 kilogram divided by my height which is 1.8 meter and then you have to square the whole quantity so using your calculator 90 divided by 1.8 divided by 1.8 you should get the same answer and that is 20 something 27.8 kilogram per meter squared so this is now my bmi now, am I healthy? Well, I'm not sure, but it's pretty heavy. <laughs> okay, so is this acceptable? Is this a normal BMI? Okay, you can do some research to study or to, to determine whether this is a healthy BMI. So, let me add something. I found in the web the BMI Oops. The BMI classification. My reference here, I look at the CDC, the Center for Disease uh, Control. I think it's a U.S. Uh, um, agency for, for their health and for some epidemiological or statistics. So I was able to find out that. Let me wrote, write a, a line or a white one. Okay, so let's divide this, some, something like that, 
like this, like that, like that, like that, like that. Okay? So if your BMI is 18.5, of course, the unit is a kilogram per meter squared. If it's less than 18.5, that's underweight. Oops. So this range here is underweight. Okay? Now, if within 18.5 to 25 kilogram per meter squared, this is healthy. So if your BMI is like that, you should be healthy. And if it's higher than 25, up to 30 kilogram meter squared, this is overweight. So as you can see, my BMI is 27 point something. What is it? 27.8. So nasa overweight talaga ako. So I'm in the overweight range. Now it's beyond 30 and, and higher. It is considered already as obese. O okay, obese. And this has some subclassification. There's 35 kilogram per meter squared. There is uh, 40 kilogram per meter squared. So they have some classes for it. I think this one is class one. This one is class two. This one is class three. I think the class three is the severe obese. So you can try it yourself. You can determine, you can compute for your, for your BMI, de determine your, your weight, determine your height. You have to convert your height into uh, meters and then use the formula for BMI, which is mass per meter uh, per height squared. And then your unit should be in kilogram meter squared. Okay, so that's all for this uh, for this week or for, for today, I would say. And then I hope to see you in, in our next topic in physics. Enjoy learning, guys. Bye-bye. Tschüss.